Hello guys, this is Eli871 back with another episode of Raw Domination, um, 43 Civ AI. Um, today we're on the 25th turn and there's currently been no wars happening, but um, you know, we've been seeing the, the world develop. Uh, it's really, it's getting really crowded in Europe and currently we see um, uh, the Ottomans building up an empire and building up an army. Uh, and also, the Ethiopians have a pretty large army. I, I think they're going to be ready for attack. I, I foresee a war happening really soon between the Middle Eastern civs. Um, but for now, we have a declaration of friendship between Morocco and Songhai. So, you know, go down, I guess. They won't kill each other, I hope. The next turn. We see Byzantium. Founding a next city and Persepolis and Persia Stone first because of their world wandering, which is Temple Artemis, I'm pretty sure. That's gonna help them with their growth, right? Okay. We currently see um, a lot of European nations starting to militarize. I wouldn't be surprised if a war broke out very soon. We currently see um, Rome with another settler. They're going to be putting another city very soon. Pretty sure you just just put that after city. Oh, our pantheon's finally that was Songhai, and they started. Oh, they got the desert folklore. They're gonna be a very very religious civ um, this time around with um, a lot of desert tiles. Well, most of them as of, oh, they have a lot of desert tiles as, as of right now. Especially if they found a city up north, that's gonna be extremely helpful for them. I, I don't see why. Um, Actually, I wouldn't have helped. The, I wouldn't have helped the Ethiopia that much. It might have helped Egypt to get um to get a um put a see there. Korea's finally put down their second city of Busan. Wow, Mongolia up north has five cities already. Oh, oh, Korea, oh, Korea. How do we have any? Do we have any cities that only have one city still? No, most cities are finally their their second city. Currently, we we have Sydney with um Australia all to themselves. Where Pantheon was found, it was Spain. They started worshipping plus one from, from fish. I can't believe I get the raw Gibbatar this time around. Oh, but you know, the, the shooting ball is going to help them a lot. And we actually see a bunch of Spanish troops on Portugal's borders. I don't want to be surprised if they went to war. What's on the next two turns? Oh, Theodore, a uh, religious civil with the clutch scientific wonder, which is the great library. Go Theodore, I guess. <laughs> not really gonna help since it's not really a scientific civ, but I don't know. Maybe it'll help him get to pottery faster, so he can start getting a religion quicker. So I'm trying to go faster now. Now that so now that the game's been going for a bit. Theodore shipped the first place due to their, to, to their great library. Bogotelos has four cities. I ain't the only, only still with five cities right now in Mongolia. Oh, and Russia! Russia just put down five cities. I see it. The always about to extend to another three cities. They they were doing fine without with only two cities. And so is Darius in Japan. Japan with that, they have thirty cities. They already taken over all of continental Japan. Not continental, I guess mainland Japan.
trying to see a bunch of a bunch of truth moving. No war has been declared yet. Even though Portugal has literally their entire army on, um, even though Spain has an entire army on the Portu Portuguese borders. Another pantheon being founded, and it is the pantheon. This is with the Huns, and they got as a world, which is plus one face from tundras, which will help them a lot because I'm pretty sure they have a bunch of tundras. And we have a first war with Ottoman is declaring war on the Zentium. Well, look at it, they have a bunch of tundras. That's actually really good for them. Uh, I knew that. It's <laughs> the Ottoman, and they already have troops on their borders. Um, the Zentium doesn't seem to be well to defend it with very little troops. I don't know if they're going to be able to handle this. They might be able to take Constantinople or Adrianople, which would be very helpful for Ottomans because that's a very expensive spot to take. Oh, and we have first blood being drawn by the by the Ottomans. I don't see why you put your archers in the front lines, but okay, whatever, um, Ottomans. We have two other wars. Within three wars declared within two turns of each other, we have um, Austria declaring war on on Russia and Casimir declaring and, and Poland declaring war on Russia. Let's talk about um, a reverse issue. I don't think anything's gonna happen. There's way too much forest in between them to for anything to actually happen. I think the Ottoman wars would be way more interesting than that in that war. Oh, we currently see. Um, Byzantium troops moving into Indrian. We have one troop. I guess not really troops. I guess one troop. <laughs> but whatevs. Uh, and we currently have, of course, Assyria declaring war on Babylon, and they're already starting to siege the, the city of Babylon, of Babylon as we speak. It'd be very, it'd be very, um, it'd be very bad for Babylon if they lost their most populous city on, within the first thirty-four turns, especially since they got to off to such a great start. Um, Brazil started worship, worshiping a pantheon of gods. There are gods of festivals, a plus one culture, and a plus of pay from each wine and incense. I'm pretty sure they have a lot of since they're. Yeah, look at that. They're they are gonna get. They have ends. That's not so. <laughs> Where's the wine? There's the wine. Yeah. There's more wine. They're gonna, they're gonna be good. They're gonna be pretty good with that. We also have another war being declared with Hali. I told you it was declared. I thought it was gonna be on like Egypt or something, but I guess they're gonna be a. Uh, Warmongers take a city state. Whatevs. This is a domination only game only. Not judging, not judging. We have our first legendary found and it's the Celts and they have found capitalism. Let's see what they let's see what they got on uh, in their um in their religion. They've enhanced it with plus two gold oh, for each city following religion. And it was just per church property, and they also founded 30% increase. And what else? Capitalism, use fate, and they can purchase monasteries. Momosa is currently requesting units from me. I don't see why you're requesting units from me, Momosa. I only have two new colors from me, which I cannot give you. I'm so sorry. That'd be way too unfair. Uh, we're currently seeing Babylon being besieged by Exeran troops, and they look very well off. That looks very bad for Babylon. But they just purchased. Oh, they, they haven't even purchased their walls yet. As soon as they purchase the walls, that city's gonna be a lot more well defended. Babylon with only three troops, with only three warriors in the area at the moment. That's that doesn't look too good for them. Come on, you gonna see this coming, Babylon? We also see um, the, we also see not not much action happening on the Byzantium Ottoman front. On the Austrian, uh, that's probably that's probably why Austria and, and Poland because of that one. Um. Russian scout in their area. Like, it hasn't even been touched yet. <laughs> we see uh, them defending. Poor Bell. Oh, they just purchased their walls of Babylon. Did they purchase? I don't know. But it was, it was, it was, it's in the city now. They have 21, which is the most defensible city in the entire world right now. Um, Babylon. Has twenty one, and that's gonna be, that's gonna that's gonna improve their their um survivability a lot. If they can get some, if they can get two bowmen, they can definitely defend against their, this 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 siege of Babylon. 
Thankfully for them, they have their city is surrounded by rivers, so it can only really be attacked from two from two fronts without taking a penalty. In case I didn't know, um, if there's a river, you have to be within one tile to hit the to hit the. To, oh, we have their first bowmen being declared. And we have two other wars being declared. Why is everyone declaring war in Catherine? <laughs> We have the Ottomans declaring war in Catherine, which is obviously a hey, you want to declare war on them with me? But more importantly, we have a uh, the Huns declaring war on Catherine, which seems like it'll be much more um, terrible for, for them because the Huns are just freaking crazy. Um, currently, we see uh, currently we see that there's that um, the Huns aren't even really militarized out that well, but we see Russia's expanding ridiculously fast with one, two, three, four, seven cities. Which is more than the Huns, and more than the hierarchies, and more than the, uh, and more than the Soshon. Soshon currently have six cities. The, 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 the Hilatha currently has five cities. Mongolia has six. China has four. But Russia has seven. You're, you're crazy, Russia. They're in fourth place right now with these four cities. Currently, the, uh, Ottoman Byzantium front as a stalemate. As for Assyria, Assyria seems to be not doing well um, near their capital city. Hopefully, they can hold out. It'd be terrible for them to lose their city. I don't think that war is lost. Babylon, I'm sure you could defend. Oh, and they just they just killed the archer. Oh, we see Assyria withdrawing. Uh, if you continue that 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 siege, you, you definitely could take a Babylon, um, Assyria, but to his own, to his own, I guess. And currency, Napoleon, currency, France declaring war on the Dutch. But that's gonna be a very hard war for Napoleon because there's a lot of forests covering um, the Dutch mainland, so it's gonna be very hard for the troops to to, to traverse the area. And we currently see Shanghai as found in the religion of Islam. And they have in their religion, they have plus faith. They have use faith to purchase cathedrals. They're going to be able to purchase a million cathedrals. And you get plus two faith for each foreign city. Falling for them. That's pretty awesome for them, I guess. And they have Pantheon being Poland, Star Worshipping a Pantheon of Gods. And it's God of War, which is gain faith with you when the battle within four tiles of your city. And this continues to see the war in the Syria. Let's see if they're going to retaliate still. We're going to continue this war until turn 50. Until turn, until turn 45. Let's say turn 45. Just keep that episode limit low. And because there are so many wars declared. And last last week, last, yeah, yesterday we had a 25 turn episode because it was a start. So we're going to we're going to continue on to turn 45. So we only have five turns left in this episode. We have two more religions being found. Our, uh, the Our Koi have found the religion of Protestantism. Mm -hmm. And... Oh, we have a war being declared. Of course, uh, just like I knew, Spain was going to declare war on Portugal. That's going to be a very interesting war, considering that uh, Spain, Portugal is not defended, is not well defended at all. If Spain could take Porto, that would be amazing for them. We currently have um, Kamehameha producing uh, the Muslim of the Hali Karnas. I don't know how to pronounce that. And uh, we before we had, um, I think it was Brazil, complete Stonehenge. They see the new religions. It was the, the new religions are uh, Ethiopia, Eastern Orthodoxy, and the Arakoi founded. What was it? Protestantism. Let's see. In this war, in this in this um world, religions are going to be very um, plentiful because there's only so much religions that can be founded. Uh. Uh. The the Arakoi have founded plus hundred gold uh, when Ishmael first converts and. They also got message of the god, which is plus two cities. Odds oh, that's them, and you should have to purchase mosque, mosque. And we see um, Ethiopia with temples provide plus two happiness and plus one culture for each five houses in other cities. Let's continue seeing the war in the Syrian front. How's that going? Um, Babylon's recovering. Uh, the Ottomans. The Ottomans have w withdrawn completely from Byzantium, and it's as I thought. There is absolutely nothing happening on the uh, Polish. Austrian Russian war, but there's a scout attacking the city, so I guess I guess they have that going for them. But the uh, the Huns actually have three units next to Yaroslav, 
I don't know if that's going to be good for them. Let's see the war on the Portugal Spanish side. Um, Spain seems to be making a lot of progress. They have a, a much more larger army than um, than um, than Portugal. Currently, um, we we are we are we're seeing more rage on. Uh, has anyone has any progress made on the on the French Dutch war? Uh, actually, yeah, the French are moving in really hard on the Dutch right now, and it's a very hard, especially if they lose their capital city of Amsterdam or even Rotterdam, would be very terrible for them. What should be the first city to flip and Civ and forty three Civ AI domination only? What should be the first city to flip? Probably, we might not even see this this episode. We see Sp we see the Spaniards um, moving in on Portugal, and they're they're seeing to make a lot of progress with their spearmen. They're much more advanced technology. Well, not much more advanced. It's just a bit more advanced. And we see um, Incivil currently besieging the units of Byzantium. We've seen Assyria move back into Babylon, but they're not making much progress due to, due to that river covering. Um, due, due to that river. Uh, that is protecting Babylon greatly. Now we know why they have the walls in Babylon. Up north, we don't see anything happening, but uh, we see a, a weakened archer in Yaroslav, and we see a much larger army moving towards the Russian nation. We see a lot of religion being found is China. With Taoism, let's see what let's see what they got. Uh, where is the religion are you? And they have currently found it's all tradition, and trying to provide plus one happiness and plus one culture from pentagons. And we have that war. Oh, isn't it be this would be a good war? We have um, Germany declaring war on Aust on, Pol on Poland. If we had not seen that happen many times in history already. Hopefully this isn't in the same way history does, with Poland being absolutely shrinked. On the Assyrian, on the Assyrian Babylonian front. We have we have the Arakoi entering the classical era. They're they're at the third civ, I think, in the classical era. It's pretty it's pretty late for them to T V H. And um, uh, another pantheon being found by Japan, and they got ready to sign with a plus 15 faster border, border growth. So it's pretty awesome. Hali Salazi has made faith, has made, has made, has made peace with Mombasa. They made absolutely no progress in that war. I don't see why they even decided to declare war at Ethiopia. Now you only have a pissed city state that can't help you anymore, but oh well. So here's our own, I guess. Oh, we currently see. Spain starting to pull back a little on Portugal. I am, I'm sorry, I'm kind of rooting for Spain in this in this because they really want to capture the Rock of Gibraltar. We have our first peace agreement between um, Ethiopia and Mombasa. Will we see if city get flipped? Probably not this episode. Oh, the German. Oh my god, look at all those units. That's just that's just way too much units. But we currently see um Poland defending really well um from from um, the Germans. Ghani clearly declared war on Kathmandu. Man if if only they had nukes, they would just nuke the crap out of that city state. Alexander's currently in the classical era. Byzantium there's a Byzantium Ottoman in front. And of course Syrians have made no progress thanks to the walls of Babylon that were built by Babylon. By Babylon. Babylon. <laughs> uh Span the Spaniards are making little progress with the war, even though um, Portugal doesn't have a really big army. Uh we're starting to see the Ottomans. We're starting to see the um the Huns start producing more units and start progressing towards um the the Russian mainland. As for the German as for the as for the German Polish war, it's, it's very interesting. Um, we've seen his trade archers on the front. The trade archers on the front. Poland there should be warriors in the front, but whatever. Um, let's continue to the next turn. We we'll currently see, yeah. Mm. 
Ooh, looks like them are actually be okay. This oh, looks like we have our first reformation bullet being added, and we see oh, this is so good. We saw Babylon complete the Hanging Gardens. Don't know what city, probably probably in Babylon, but they're gonna get such a huge um, increase in a in a they're gonna get such a huge increase in 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 food, which will really really help them get their science going. Uh, I thought it was flipped from France and, and the Dutch war, but actually, oh, look, I'm going to design for my, the people on my nuclear submarine. I guess y'all are happy, huh? Uh, but actually, the French have um, produced the city of Troyes right in between Amsterdam and Rotterdam, which sucks for the Dutch, because that's going to be very hard for them to handle, because uh, um, the French have a, have a foothold in mainland Netherlands. The Asics are within a pantheon of God with plus one happiness from stage of population of six. Uh, Babylon got the Hanging Gardens. Reformation China is out there. They were the first ones out of That's crazy. I'm happy for you, China. Let's see. Taoism. Taoism. Okay. Okay, Reformation. They had sacred sites, which is plus two tourism for each, for all the religious buildings, and they also got. And they also got. Which one is it? That's Founder. That's Founder. Pretty sure, pretty sure it's a citizen, which is trying to provide plus one happiness. We currently see uh, Solomon and making, making peace. And Napoleon has made peace with uh, the Dutch. And of course, Captain Mundo asked me for help, but I can't give you any help, I'm so sorry. Go away to begin for me, awesome. And that's how we end the second and third episode of Civ uh, 5, 43 Civ AI domination only. Uh, let me go to the info I to see what's happening as of right now. In terms of population, France has the most population. They have 1.6 million people. Babylon has 1.5 million people. Wow, France overcame Babylon. It's crazy. But that's not going to be for long, considering Babylon's both the hanging gardens. Egypt has 1.2 million people. Bottom three are the uh, are Indonesia, Portugal, and the Ottomans. Crap, as for crop yield, I'm pretty sure Babylon's in first place. No, Russians are in first place with 90 million bushels. Russians in, in second place with 81 million. And the Arakoi are have 75 million bushels. That's for the bottom three, it's the Zulus, Portugal, and the Ottomans. Manufactured goods, in terms of manufactured goods, social producing 50 million tons, Russia putting 4 and Mongolia is producing 40 million tons, to be honest for them. And to the land area, the social are nearly double, of course, what any other city has, with 1.5, with 1.15 um, square kilometers, the Arakoi, which are hugely expected to have 620. Thousand um, square kilometers. We're going to have six hundred twenty thousand. All the three big cities all have a bunch of land. It's awesome. We're just making the most gold. Has a military manpower. Mongolia. Mongolia has the most soldiers, and they're not even in a war right now. I think they're gonna go to war with China very soon. Austria has the second most soldiers. Um, and Persia has the third most soldiers. Persia's probably gonna end up attacking Babylon very soon. From a social standing. Japan has the most policies, which strangely Persia has, has, has the second most. Germany and them all tied for second. Poland is tied for second still. Their technologies. Byzantium, due to the fact that they probably got the Great Library and have the most technologies discovered, followed by Babylon, followed by France, followed by Poland. And in terms of cities, the Shoshan have seven, seven cities, Russia has seven cities, the Inca have six cities, um, Japan has five cities, etc., etc. In terms of uh, science being produced return, um, the Arakoi have 40 science, the France have 40 science, and the Social have 39 science. In terms of the bottom three, we see Portugal producing 13 science, Indonesia producing 14 science, and the Ottomans producing 18 science. I don't even see why, I don't see why you went to war with the most technologically advanced the Ottomans. I don't get that. No point. Um, thank you for joining me for, for episode three of AI Only World Domination. Um, my name is Eli Seven One. I'll be signing out. Hopefully, we have more wars next turn. Uh, we have good amount of wars being produced, but not really any progress. No cities are fled, but you know, we're, that's still um, we saw things that come with port. With Spain currently besieging Porto and all that.
have a great day, guys. Um, I'll see you soon.